You know, over the years, I've owned a lot of fishing boats, about 40 different fishing boats, and every one of those fishing boats has had a gasoline kicker motor on it, just like this one. But this kicker motor is different. This is the first time I've ever had an EFI Suzuki kicker motor. And the difference between the old school carbureted motors and EFI, you can't believe the difference. Carbureted motors are cold blooded. You're always pumping the bulb. You're always grinding on it or pulling on it to try to get it to start cold blooded creatures. That's definitely not the case with this EFI Suzuki. You hit the start button and it starts instantly. Every single time, doesn't matter if it's a warm out or a cold out, easy starting is one of the nice features of this motor. The thing with kicker motors is of course you have to change the oil periodically, but most kicker motors don't have an oil filter. Think about that for a second. You've got an oil filter on your truck, you got an oil filter on your V6. How come kicker motors don't come with an oil filter? Well, with Suzuki, they do. The beauty of that is it creates an engine that you're gonna get more longevity out of. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you the process. It's really straightforward and simple. First step in changing the oil on any kicker motor is you're gonna open up the valve on the top here where you would pour the oil in. What you're doing there is you're breaking the, the friction or the seal. I'm just gonna take that cap and lay it up here so I don't lose it. The next step is to grab yourself a hex wrench like this put it in the oil drain plug, break it loose, and as you're starting to release this, you're gonna to have to grab a bucket in order to catch the oil as it drains out. Give it a minute or two for all the oil to pour out of the engine, and then go ahead and take that drain plug, put it back in, and seat it tightly. The next step is you're gonna go up to the cap here. This is where the oil filter lives. We're gonna pop those three screws off, take that cap off, take the oil filter out, discard it, put a new filter in, put the cap back on, and tighten that cap back down. So at this point, it's time to put oil back in the motor. This particular 9.9 .9 Suzuki takes just a little bit over a quart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this synthetic oil here and pour in until this quart is completely in there. And then we'll crack another one and using the dipstick and checking the dipstick, we'll go real slow until we get just the exact amount of oil inside the engine. The question becomes at the end, what do you do with this drain oil? Well, by all means, do not throw it out. Take it to your local 10 minute oil change facility and donate it. What they'll do is they'll have it recycled and turned into more oil for the future. It's good for the environment and it's good for us sportsmen. Suzuki is all about the environment.